www.deadpit.com. Howdy folks and welcome. It is the midweek obliteration for June the 30th, 2021. I have a long time friend of mine on here, a member of the WrestleManiacs, Corey from the S'mores Indoors podcast slash radio show. What's going on, man? How's it going, Mr. Kentuckian? How are you doing? Hey, I'm just trying to keep it creepy in Kentucky. <laughs> you know, that's all I can do. What do you think about all these sales these uh, studios are putting on? You know, Arrow's got the camp, their camp sale coming up, and I just saw that Full Moon Entertainment has a 4th of July sale. Twilight Time has a sale. <laughs> Kino has a sale. Shout Factory has some sort of sale. If I keep buying stuff, I'm going to have to get a second job. That's for sure. So I mean, hell. <laughs> yeah, Severin just had their sale. Did you get anything at the Severin sale? I didn't get anything from them. And here's, the, here's the deal with them. is They put out some good stuff. Like, I've got some stuff of theirs that I really love from the past, but I just don't feel like they sell their sale as well as Vinegar Syndrome does. Um. You know, vinegar syndrome, it's almost like a must buy something sale. And with Severn, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. I think that they, they kind of lean on like the Italian horror slash exploitation stuff a little bit more. And it's almost, it seems like every year they try to do a theme. And this year's theme, they were doing like the post-apocalyptic movies, and that was pretty much it. And then the only newer one that I was thinking about getting was Retribution. That one looked pretty cool, but it was like $45 for some reason. Yeah. So I was like, no, I'm not not throwing down $45 for just a Blu-ray. I think a soundtrack was with it or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, there was a couple things I ended up getting, but it was just, you know, the ones that were discounted like 15 bucks or whatever yeah i ended up putting any money i was going to put towards that sale towards those those cheap green factory titles they had on amazon those were some pretty yeah, that good deals was, on there that was another one yeah they had what was it buy two get one free sale on amazon and target yeah. they included a lot of shout factory stuff some code red stuff scorpion stuff so yeah i mean it's a tough time i Luckily, I talked myself <laughs> probably half a dozen times out of buying something that sale. They had a lot of great prices, though, on that yeah. stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'm like you with the Severin titles. Most of it's stuff that I've never heard of, to be honest with you. So yeah. I will go and look at the... I think the best thing you can do is just go and look at the trailers and see mm-hmm. if something's for you. Right. They have some good titles in their back catalog, like uh, The Changeling is one that I really love that one. Um, I think Grizzly was one they had on their sale this time. Um, Killer Crocodile, that's a fun one. And they did something else on Saturday night, which we did like a, we've been doing like a live buy thing for some of these sales. And they didn't announce this one until midway through uh, Severin through their sale that ended this past Monday. And it, they've, they've got the habit of doing a limited slip cover with a title that they cannot promote. They have right. to blur it out. They've right. done it with um, Jaws 5 for Cruel mm-hmm. Jaws. They've done it with Terminator 2 for the, I think it's Shocking Dark or something like that. Um, but the, the newest one is the same director of Troll 2 did a movie with the little boy from Troll 2, uh, <laughs> Michael Stevenson, played Joshua, yeah. around the same time frame. Um, it also has the Barbara Bingham, who was in Friday the 13th Part 8. She was like the teacher, okay. um, Rennie's teacher. So she's the mother in it, but... It looks like a continuation almost of Troll 2, and it's, the name of the movie is Beyond Darkness, which was already out in a two-pack. I mean, it's still out. You can still buy it from Screen Factory Yeah. Uh, with Metamorphosis, which is a pretty horrible movie. But yeah, they threw the limited slipcover on there, and it's like $34 <laughs> is what it was, and it's 
with that slip cover, I think it's Evil Dead 5. And I'm thinking, well, where the fuck was Evil Dead 4? I'm sure that was some other yeah. Italian movie. Uh, <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but yeah, they slipped the slip, you know, they literally slipped the slip on there and jacked the price up double what it should normally be. This was just a regular Blu-ray. It wasn't 4K or anything. And it was already out at a discount from Scream. I mean, it was those double features are like 13 bucks or something like that. At Scream, you know, from if you go get them on Amazon, I'm sure there may be right. maybe 20 on, on Shout Factory site. But I think, that, I, I think I have that two pack in there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Like, I guess that's, you know, they're the, the slip cover craze is just getting out of hand. Well, see, they should have, they should have offered the slip cover only for like 20 bucks too. And I bet they would have sold a bunch of them for the people that have the screen factory. So they could have given them some ideas there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm a member of, uh, like they have Scream Factory Collectors Forum and Vinegar Syndrome Collectors Forum. And there's more people on there selling just the slip covers by themselves yeah. than the movies. Yeah. Like I, don't, I wonder when that started exactly. It had to be with Scream Factory. Yeah. I, I mean, that's when, I mean, we started getting the special artwork, right? That was Scream Factory really that started that. Um, and I think they they were the ones that started limited in the slipcover because yeah. the first few releases that they did, they just, I guess the, the plan was they were going to be on there from here on out. I don't know if you noticed this, but like, it seems like a, maybe a YouTube phenomenon, but I think it's spilled over across social media and, and places like that. But, you know, back in the day, it was like, you would buy these movies because you were a fan of the movies. Now it's almost like a nerd culture, like collecting and not so much being a fan of the movies. I don't know if that makes sense. It does. I think vinegar syndrome is definitely like the fans of them in particular. And I like their stuff. I mean, it's fun to, some of their stuff's fun to check out, but it doesn't matter what the movie is. And there's a certain, group of those people that thank you to all of our supporters on patreon dead pit on patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old dead pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries exclusive podcasts and much more dead pit on patreon.com if you're interested tears started only one dollar $1 